Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing good. In today's video, we are going to discuss about components of structural health monitoring. So we have six different stages or six different components of structural health monitoring. The first one is sensors. That is, the sensors measure whatever the physical quantity of damage is there in the structure and it will be sending it to the computer. So we have also the second component that is data acquisition system. That is, it will collect the data from the sensors and it will be transferring it to the next next system next level okay next we have communication systems that is data communication system whatever the data that is acquired by this data acquisition system it will be transferring it to the computer stage okay this is the data communication system and next we have data processing system that is the data that is collected will be processed after processing whatever the data that is remained will be stored this is the data storage or repository systems. In this hard disk, CD, archives will be involved. And next we have data diagnostics and data retrieval. Data diagnostics is we will be reading out whatever the data is collected. And retrieval that is decision making. That is we will assess how the structure is going to behave in the next upcoming life of the structure. Okay, the decision making is done in this stage. We will see one by one what is all this. Okay, this is the diagrammatic representation of this data communication system, acquisition system, storage system, retrieval system, and that is all the components of SHM. Coming to the first one, we have sensors. These sensors measure the physical quantity of the damage and it will be sending it to the computer. Okay, so these sensors obtain the various types of data either continuously or periodically. Okay, continuously means what at continuous stress you will be collecting the data periodically is it will be collecting once in a while like once in one hour once in 10 minutes or once in 20 minutes whatever the data whatever the time that is set in the sensor already the data can be used to identify the damage at its onset to assess the safety integrity strength and performance of the structure it will be assessing the structure's integrity that is how the structure is going to behave under the applied load and how would be its performance Okay, what is the safety of the users of the structure? Next, we have acquisition system. That is, it takes all the information, the, the data from the sensors. That is, all the sensors, whatever here they are present, it will be connected to the data acquisition system. Okay, this is the process of sampling signals that converts the resulting samples into a digital numerical value. Here, whatever the data that is collected is in terms of signals. But here, this data would be converted to the numerical terms. Okay, depending upon the data acquisition system we use, it is going to handle the wired or wireless one, it will be transferring the data to the communication systems. The third component is communication systems. The data will be transferred with via other systems. It can be either via radio frequency systems like telephones, uh, internet cables, towers. Okay. So the fourth scale is data processing system. It is the fourth level component. This data is transferred from data acquisition system to data processing system using communication system. The data processing system is also known as post processing. It deals with the statistical analysis of the collected data. Whatever the data that is collected, it will be statistically analyzing that data. That is, it will be showing the graphical view of that or pie charts would be drawn showing how the structure is going to behave under that load. Next, we have data storage systems. Once the data is post-processed, the data needs to be stored for further use. For further use, we have to store the data. This is the fifth level comp component. Okay, The data storage is also known as data repository. I have already shown you we are using CD archives for that um, storage. Hard disk is also used. Next, we have data diagnosis and data retrieval. This is the last case of structural health monitoring system. So he, it, is, it helps in decision making with the help of data retrieved. Stored data will be taken to be diagnosis and data retrieval. Okay, whatever the stored data that is there in this, it will be taken up to this next stage. It will be analyzing the structure's behavior and giving us what decision can be taken, like uh, if any treatment of the structure would be sufficient or we have to go with the demolition and reconstruction of the structure. It will be giving the data. So depending upon this uh, diagnosis, we'll be getting whatever uh, data we need for the decision making 
okay that is it for this video guys if you like this video please like share and comment to the channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it would greatly motivate me i appreciate you watching this video thank you